What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Joy-Con. Oh my god, I have to tell you guys about Animal Crossing. Uh, even though most of you have probably been playing it like crazy, like I have. Um, I, Man, okay, let's start from the beginning. So, when I was like 11 or 12, I got a GameCube, and my friend had Animal Crossing, and it came with the cool memory card that had the Animal Crossing sticker on the front of it, because the game to save took a whole memory card. So they just said, hey, you know what? We're just going to give them a sticker to put on their front of their Animal Crossing memory card because it takes all 60 blocks. I think it took 59 out of 60 blocks. So anyway, this game blew my mind when I was that old. It was like, you know, it's the simulation game, but it was like these cute little critters and you're you're out in the woods, and, and there was so much to do and so much to collect, and you could customize your house and do all this fun stuff. And it was just a really unique, uh, awesome experience. And uh, so I played that a lot as a kid, and then when I was moved out of the house, I was like 19 or 20, and I got it for my Wii um, Animal Crossing. I can't remember what the Wii one's called, but it was okay, but it wasn't great. I'm not like a huge fan of it um and then that one kind of turned me off to animal crossing for a while so i didn't bother getting it for the ds or for the 3ds and i i'm sure you know i've heard that some people really like those games i never played them but um so when i saw that you know there was a new animal crossing coming out for the switch i could not wait i was so excited and I've been playing this game every night for three or four nights. I think it came out on the 20th. Um, I have to say, this game is so charming, and it, it really reminds me of the GameCube game. I mean, Nintendo took this approach like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. They they just said, hey, you know what? Animal Crossing is is played like this. And we're going to give you new items and new things to unlock, new abilities. But for the most part, the core concept of the game is the same as it's always been. And um, I don't know if it's because of this whole coronavirus thing that's going on or what, but it just it's very comforting to play something that you know how to play, that it's such a calm, relaxing game. I fell asleep in my recliner. I know I'm 30 now, so it's going to start happening way more. But this is the only video game I've ever played that just keeps putting me to sleep. And it's not because it's boring or I don't like it. I love playing it. It's the first thing I do in the morning when I get up, and it's the last thing I do before I go to sleep. The problem is it's so calming and so relaxing to play that I keep snoozing in my recliner and dropping my Switch on my lap, and then I wake up, you know, I realize I've dozed off, and I try again, and I doze off again, and I just keep dropping my switch into my lap, and then finally I give up, and I just go to bed, but, um, man, it is so fun, and I wish, I, I don't know if I need to drink more coffee or something, but this game is just, like I said, there's, there's so much to do, and there's so many, you know, you can go fishing, and you can catch bugs, and you can dig holes, and, and you can, unlock new items and craft things. This is, uh, the crafting is my favorite thing to do in this whole game. You can go around and you collect all these items, you collect wood and you collect rocks and all this stuff, and then you unlock the do-it-yourself recipes and you can craft all these new items, and it is so much fun. Your items get worn out, so your fishing pole, if you, if you fish too much, your fishing pole eventually will break. But that's fine, because it doesn't take that much wood to just make a new one. And it's fun to craft things. And I just... I, I didn't expect Animal Crossing to capture me that much. To just... I'm, I'm sucked in. I'm fully invested in this. And uh, I know from past... Uh, from at least playing the GameCube one, like I said, I don't play the other ones really. But I'm excited to see what kind of special shirts and stuff you can get for holidays. The game is based on real time, you know, the real world. They take what part of the world you live in so that it kind of matches. So <coughs> so on, like, Christmas, you're, you know, it's snowing, and, and on, you know, New Year's, there might be fireworks, who knows. They they do it all based on um, 
you know, your real time in real life. And so that's, it's super cool. It's such a unique, awesome thing. And I just, I can't say enough good things about this game. If you have not played Animal Crossing, you should definitely pick up Animal Crossing. I, I, I wouldn't even just say, um, just the Switch copy, but if you're like curious about how Animal Crossing is, pick up whatever one you can get a hold of. If you don't have a Switch, pick up the GameCube one. But anyway, um, this new game on the Switch is so amazing, and I love it, and I can't wait to keep playing, and I just, it holds my attention so well, but it's such a relaxing, calming thing to do, and I truly did not expect that. I thought it was going to be, you know, I'd play it just to review it for a few days, and and that would be it, um, but no, this is like the only thing I want to play now. I played, um, uh, been playing uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. I was going to review that one. That one's pretty good. Um, but I, I just had to talk about Animal Crossing because I'm, I'm so just excited about it. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, join me on Discord if you want to talk about Animal Crossing or just video games in general or tech or whatever, anything. Um, I spent the day building an arcade stick today. That was a lot of fun. I'll talk to you about that. Um, but again, there, there's a lot of people in the Discord playing Animal Crossing, and so it's been a lot of fun to talk about it lately. So uh, shout out to the, all those guys that are in there chit-chatting with me about Animal Crossing. It seems like most of them are ahead of where I'm at. Um, I get a few hours in the morning to play and a few hours at night to play. And other than that, I'm doing stuff with the kids because we're stuck in the house. So anyway, thank you so much. Have an amazing day.